We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Who's this? Apologies, then? my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Suck it, faggot. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say that. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. I'm here to sell our ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. I'm sure he will. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. I'm going to start a shit out of him. <laughs> You disliked it. Do Lord I care? Tyrion. I don't think I care that he disliked Lord my Tyrion. silence. Do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good uh, day, gentlemen. Nice gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The crown's ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? Oh god, I have no idea. You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. My family can supply all that the Crown needs. You're suggesting the Foresters be our sole supplier of ironwood. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Aye. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. Oh. Huh. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the north is not one of them. It's worth a try. However, I know your house needs this. Come on, Tyrion. You know you want to. You're a good man. I'll consider the arrangement. Half a man, but you know. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. All right, whip it out. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. Whatever it is, I'll do it. I just asked you for an open favor, and you agreed as if I were inviting you to tea. You're either very brave very foolish. I'm very brave. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. Aye, so do I. My lady. Not interested, mate. Yeah, I'm not too, I'm not, I'm not, like, that's the one thing I'm not too sure about. Is that whole stuff of her? Ah, finally Asher again. And the whole deal of Tyrion and stuff. I mean, I love Tyrion, but I—it's—I'm not certain about what we're talking about. Like selling Ironwood, I'm, I know, but uh, anyway. Guess uh, we're gonna try to escape this place. I'm just gonna have to like back up when someone comes through. Oh. Don't, don't mind me. Oh, hello. That was a bit late, but whatever. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us, then? For now. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts, and a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? Uh, <laughs> I can lead them. I, I can lead an army. 
I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? He didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. <laughs> I love her. Well, this mother of dragons and her sellswords are headed north. So we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. She. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Oh, shit. Ponte Renas! Don't guy in a jossy, but Dagon Costotti Taor. I knew what was gonna happen. Well, I mean, I didn't know, but I figured. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need I, to get out of here. I, I agree with they that. They won't stop looking for us. She's gonna get murdered in a minute. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Guess we'll find out. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forester will not survive to see winter. I'm guessing this is the last of what we'll see of him this episode anyway. Damn it, can we please go back to the uh, uh, Roderick or something, whatever his name is? The awesome older son. What's going on here? What's going on here? He asks, not knowing what's going on here. Shit, is it the, that guy? The iron, uh, the White Hill guy. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, is it the kid? The dirty kid. Oh shit, what's been going on here? Right. Let's have a look at the chest. Anything missing? Everything's still here. Apparently not. What's this? A scuff mark. What's that from? From scuffing, obviously. Um, okay, what's this? A broken vase or vase. Why would someone do this? What? 
well, I guess we'll find out when we read that letter that says mirror on it, but you know, I'm just having a look at everything else first. Someone obviously went through the letters. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? She. She. This ain't good, is it? Was someone going through my books? Anything else? I think it's just a letter now, isn't it? Note. Mira. I went for your stuff. Suck it. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. It's not sketchy at all. This is those two guys, they're gonna try and assassinate me. But we're going anyway, even if I have the choice, we're going. Please, what's his face? Yes, thank you. Oh, this is the funeral. Uh, that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... I'll make sure she knows. It cannot hurt. Most ladies her age. Enough, Maester. He's right. When last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. Yeah, have you, have you seen me? You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. All right, then bring her in. That's bang, all right? We'll bang, okay? Roderick? You look. Welcome to Iron Rath, Elena. It's good to see you. Where are my courtesies? It's good to see you too. Good start. Please. So, here we are. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Iron Wrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I'm getting better every day. Might be a while before we dance again, though. I'm glad to hear you're recovering. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick, I um I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron No, he just wants to show our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family, My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. 
And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. You and I can overcome anything. I once thought so too. <sighs> but I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Let's be practical. When we defeat the White Hills, I'll give your father half of our Ironwood Forest. Uh, that's worth a fortune, Roderick. We'll pay it to secure this alliance. I'll need to discuss it with father, but... Yes, I think this will convince him. Perhaps we'll remain allies after all. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, he... the rumors are true. Better an ally get the half of no it right than they do. Me. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. Our houses will be joined, in fact, and we will stand proudly beside them. Can I change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. What do you want, Whitehill? What do I want? Ask your mother. She invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh. She practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. Ryan belongs at that funeral. This family. Not until I'm certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now I hear you're ordering them around and keeping them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud. Enough of this. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral... Sure, Lady Elena, you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. Go on. Get on your knees. No, I'm not doing I'm it. I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Ramsay Snow I said... know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. You can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roos Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Fuck. Maybe I should have kissed this goddamn Ooh, ring. By the way... My men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. <laughs> isn't that clever? Nah, <laughs> that's so funny. It really isn't. He's gonna make things difficult for both of us, isn't he? 
I'm glad you didn't let him humiliate you. Oh, good. That makes me feel better, at least. You'd put your pride ahead of your family. What's poor Ryan going to think? We can't show weakness. That's exactly that what I was thinking. Him. We can't afford to show weakness, Mother. It would have been a minor sacrifice. No. It wouldn't have. That's the that's the main reason why I decided not to do it. We can't show weakness now. That's like the worst I could do is kiss his fucking ring and kneel for him. Sorry, Ryan, but... My lord. Are you well? Oh, I'm great. This isn't over. No, it isn't. This fight isn't over. Not even close. Looks like this is going to be the end of the episode. Is it?